Hello, this is Steve with Hydrogen for Health. What you have in front of you today is our new hydrogen water pitcher. It is available on our website. Let me tell you a little bit about it. This pitcher will hold 1.4 liters of water. It can put a hydrogen content of up to 1.4 ppm of hydrogen. The cycle to charge 1.4 liters of water is about 45 minutes. When the unit starts, it'll produce a lot of hydrogen for 15 minutes and then it'll go to a slower amount for the next 30 minutes to keep the hydrogen content in the water. This unit is easy to use. All you have to do is plug in your power cord to the base and then plug the base into a power outlet and you're ready to go. This pitcher does not use any batteries. It's meant to sit on a countertop in a kitchen or in an office. On the top of it has a nice little top with some grooves for the water to come through. That way you can keep the top on while you're pouring the water. The pitcher can be lifted off of its base and you can pour yourself a glass of water. And then return it to the base at any time. Very simple to use. Just fill the water up as far as you want, put the top on, and set it on the base. Then you'll wait the 15 to 30 minutes, and then your water is ready to drink. One of the questions I most often am asked is, how much hydrogen will this put in the water? Well, we're going to test that out today. What we have is our test drops. This is MIZ. It's a company in Japan that uh, produces these. We're going to test the hydrogen content in the water. So what we'll do is we'll get a sample up to this line here, and then we'll put a drop of the MIZ in, which is blue. The hydrogen in the water will turn this water clear again. So as long as it's turning the water clear, it'll tell you how much hydrogen is in it. So one drop of MIZ equals 0.1 ppm of hydrogen content in your water. So what we're looking for today is to get a ppm of 0.9 to 1.4. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take a sample. I want to fill it up to the line. That way we'll get an accurate sample and an accurate reading. Okay, we'll go ahead and Start putting drops of MIZ into the water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll see if that turns clear again. And it does. Put another one in. That's 10. So this is saying we have 1.0 ppm of hydrogen content in the water. Looks like it's clearing it up again. Now one more, which will be 11. As you can see, the water is not turning clear anymore. This tells us that this sample has 1.0 to 1.1 ppm of hydrogen content. Okay, now I'm going to give you some close-ups so you can get a better look at this product. Okay, some of you might want to see an ORP reading, so we're going to go ahead and take that now. The equipment I'm going to use today is made by Milwaukee. So anything in the negative reading is considered an antioxidant. Anything in the positive reading 
considered an oxidant. We should be able to get negative 300 to negative 400 ORP with this product. So there we have negative 351. It's still climbing, but we'll just say it's about negative 350 ORP. This product uses PEM dual chamber technology, and I'll explain to you what that is. PEM stands for proton exchange membrane. That's the barrier that's in between the positive and negative plate in the bottom of this that separates the hydrogen and oxygen from each other. So this membrane puts a barrier in between the hydrogen and oxygen that's produced in the hydrogen generator in the bottom of the pitcher. On the negative side of the plate, it generates hydrogen. On the positive side, it generates oxygen. The only the hydrogen is put into your water. That way you can get very high PPM hydrogen content. The bottom here has a small hole. This is where the oxygen escapes. So it escapes out the bottom of the base. What also happens here is on your positive plate where the oxygen is produced, you'll also produce chlorine, ozone, and other byproducts. So if your water has any chlorides in it, which is any salts, which most water does, the salts will be changed to chlorine on the positive plate. Also, ozone is generated on the positive plate. Now remember we have that barrier there that separates the two. So what happens is you get out of this hole, the oxygen, chlorine, and the ozone, and other small byproducts will escape out this hole, plus any wastewater if there's any any wastewater which will collect in this base here. That makes the water very healthy to drink. It doesn't have any byproducts. All you get is clean, hydrogen rich drinking water from this product. You can find this fine product on our website www.hydrogen4health.com. This is Steve. Thanks for watching.